Good morning, everyone. It's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. Welcome here. If you're new to our channel, we're all about doing fitness, wellness, and nutrition in ways that are sustainable for the long haul. So consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell. Now, this is a special week. We are taking this whole week. I'm going to put out a video every single day for you. Okay, so that's going to be exciting and a lot of opportunities to work out. But we are also about wellness, okay? Fitness got that covered, but we're also about wellness. And this is the week that we want to take a little closer look at wellness. Wellness can mean that you're taking care of your mental health, that you're looking at self-care, that you're increasing your emotional intelligence. There's so many facets to wellness. I want to take seven days and focus on seven different components. I hope you'll join us for the whole week of workouts and looking at our wellness. All right, so just look out for videos. Again, make sure that you're subscribed so that you'll get notifications into your inbox exactly when I put out a new video this week. All right, I've got a favorite workout for you guys today. Of course it is the power hour. Everyone loves this kind of workout and mostly it's because of the format. Take a look. Okay, you've got a minute worth of lower body, a minute of upper body, a minute cardio, and a minute abs. Here's what you'll require for today's workout. You're gonna need a variety of dumbbells. Make sure those are handy. Grab a skipping rope. If you don't have one, you could always opt for high knees in that component. And if you have a nice big Swiss ball, we're gonna use that only for one exercise, but I'll show you a modification if you don't have one. All right, make sure you've done a warm up. I'm ready to go. So if you don't have a warm up done and you wanna follow along, click the card at the top of the screen and follow that one. Otherwise, let's get going. Let's do some power hour. Let's talk about wellness afterwards and let's move daily. Let's get started. We're gonna start with a squat front lunge combo. So I'm gonna grab a 15 pound dumbbell. Of course, you can hold two dumbbells. Uh, I'll turn sideways here. So squat, alternating front lunge. Ready, let's do it. Squat and alternating. All right, good job. Everyone loves this workout. They say it's really hard. It goes for an hour because basically if you're new and you haven't done this circuit before, let me just explain. So it's one minute of each exercise. So that's like four minutes and we do it each three times, okay? So a lot of progressive overloading of the muscle, which is nice. Oftentimes we, um, you know, you don't get to do, if, if I have like a no repeat workout, you're only hitting sometimes that muscle once and then not coming back around to it for a while. So this way gets to really focus and isolate specific muscles. Woo, that's a good burn already. 10 more seconds here. Then moving down to the ground for upper body. You've got a chest press, shoulder press combo. All right, so I'm gonna grab my 15s and my eights. You're gonna do five lying chest presses, up for five seated shoulder presses. Here we go. So you're up for five, four, three, two, one, either the same weight or drop that weight. Shoulder press, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, back you go. Make sure you're pressing over your chest and sit up for that shoulder for five. Nice and tall here. All right, 20 seconds left. Top. Four, three, two. Cardio coming up next. Five, four, three, two, one. In four, three, two, and time. Okay, move your weights to the side. You're gonna do a little burpee in and out jack. Okay, so you're gonna burpee down, stand up, jack, and in, okay? Ready, let's go. So burpee out, stay low, in and out. Burpee, jack. Got a nice Turkish get up for you for our abs. So that's next. Half 
halfway. Nothing like getting right at it, eh? <laughs> After that plyometric workout, 
I don't know if you joined me for that one. It was so hard. It really is a wonder I would want to jump again for a while. <laughs> I wonder if you felt the same, let me know. 20 seconds. Five seconds. Okay. Whew. Good job, Turkish get up. Let's get down. I'm gonna use my eight for this. Lie on your back. Hand up. Up. Tuck that knee. Stand or kneel tall. Then stand. My hand doesn't move as you can tell. Move on to round three. Squat, alternating lunge, front lunge. Ready? Let's do it. You pick your pace. I'm moving just a bit slower today, but feel free to race past me if you can. So I'm excited to talk about wellness. I think, uh, like I very much am a 360 degree look at a person when I help my clients in their goals towards fitness and health. Like you cannot isolate just fitness and say, hey, you're gonna be a whole healthy fit person if you just concentrate on the exercise component. It's everything. It's how you think about yourself. It's what you eat how you sleep, how your self-talk, that's all very, very important. All right, time. I want to talk about all of that. All right. Because that's, what, that's what's gonna change you for good, right? And that's what's gonna make permanent changes and growth as a human. Here we go. And five. Good, here. I have one client that I talk to all the time, and we kind of say, you know, like in her life, in her friendship group, she doesn't have a lot of people who she can talk deeply with. You know, where you kind of go below the waterline and figure out, you know, the hard conversations in life. Uh, she's like, they're all about like, drinking and having fun, which is fine. Time and place for that, for sure. But if you never have any of those relationships, that actually bring life to you and create a depth in you that moves you to a better place, you're missing out. You need those. All right, keep going here. Whew. And that helps us to help others too in their journey, right? When we do our own hard work. Ugh, that's five. Okay, let's go to that cardio. This is my favorite one, not. Kidding. It's fine. We got this. Burpee, low squat jack. Go. Halfway. 
Really lay that burpee out. One more. I was wondering if, when the beeper would go. All right, Turkish sit up. Turkish get up. Sit up, get up. I don't care, just stand up. Ready, and start here. Last one in this circuit, then a break. Knee, hand, sweep, lie all the way down. All right, switch hands at the bottom here. It's halfway. Let's work, hey? Okay? Little shoulder, little balance, abs, core here, glute, a lot going on. All right, last one. Five seconds. Yes, great. Okay, what a break. Join me back for circuit number two. This is the circuit you're gonna require that skipping rope and your Swiss ball. Again, if you don't have a rope, do high knees. If you don't have the ball, I'll show you the modification during that 15 second break. You're gonna start with a goblet squat twist. Okay, so I'm gonna hold my weight here. I'm gonna have nice wide feet, kind of like a sumo position, go low, Twist, knee to elbow. Ready? Let's start. Here, knee to elbow, switch legs. There, get low and up. That's it. So we've got a little oblique here too. Why wouldn't we double up on an exercise? Nice compound action here. Yeah, so when I asked what people's favorite workouts were, a lot of people like the hit, a lot of people like the strength only, one loves the power hours and uh, the compound or metabolic workouts. Those are all favorites. So did you know we have playlists for all of those workouts? Check my playlists. Like a lot of them have like 20 or 30 workouts in that category. So if you're like, hey, I love that no repeat workout. I wonder if she has another one like that. Instead of searching my channel, just go to the playlist. I'll throw some up at the beginning. You might see, or maybe at the end if I remember. Okay, time. <sighs> okay, you're gonna hit a nice little row reverse fly combo. Hinge at the waist, I got my eights. We're gonna row and fly, all right? Ready, here we go. Up and reverse fly. So on your fly, arms are rounded, okay? Keep going, I got something in my eye. Probably my hair that I didn't put out because I washed it today. Then I'm like, darn, I gotta do this workout today. If I put it up in a ponytail, it'll wreck it. So that's why it's down. But it's probably gonna get wrecked anyway from the sweat. Because this is hard and sweaty. Okay, if you need a break at 30 seconds, it's there. I'm just gonna stretch my back out. Otherwise, keep going, row and fly. Holding my tummy nice and tight. Engaging that core so I don't use my back. Focusing on middle back on the row, rear deltoids, rear shoulder on that fly. Skipping is next. Get ready to grab your rope. All right, there's your time. Okay, so high knees if you don't have a rope. You can high knees whilst skipping. Doesn't matter to me. Let's knock this out, girl. Ready, and skip. One minute here. Yeah. 
We can do a little boxer shuffle. A little side to side. A little high knee. A little skipping skip, whatever you want. We have like variety of skipping. So that we don't get bored. Abs is next. Halfway. one of the hole right here for me. Could make it heavier, hold two weights, but this is good for me. Twist. Halfway. I mean, it's challenging, isn't it? Rows and flies are next. All right, get ready to grab your weight. Just gonna grab a quick sip. Got my eights here. Hinge at the waist. Let's go. Up and fly. No bouncing. Keep your body still like a plank. Venus next. Good job, halfway through. Stretch if you need. Let's go. 
Maybe some high knees here. Drag that heart rate up a bit. on that ball, tap side to side, okay, or on the ground, in three, two, and here we go, slow control, and tap. Your head is neutral, okay, don't look up. Don't look at the ball, down to the ground. Good, halfway. Let's break for a sec. Just holding yourself in a plank for a minute is work, isn't it? Doesn't even have to do anything. Almost there. Okay. Oh. Good job. Let's go round three. Okay. Grab your dumbbell. Some more twist. Let's go. Oh wow. And that squat is wide and low. You really want to drop your glutes low. Try to get to 90 degrees there. Halfway. Quite again, and everything's getting itchy. Interesting, eh? Little nerve endings. Get all stimulated. Hinge forward, row, and fly. Good. I usually do here what I can fly for a minute. I could row a lot heavier, but the nature is this compound workout here, or compound exercise rather. Um, so I gotta pick whatever my weakest muscle can do, and this is the fly here. All right, I'm gonna stretch it out here for a sec, but keep going if you want. You're halfway. Last skip coming up. seconds here. Work, work. Three, two, up. Nice. You're letting the glutes just hold my body up, eh? You too? Okay. Last skip here. Ready? And skip. You're gonna do some high knees to start. Halfway. 
Little boxer shuffle here for me. Fifteen seconds. seconds not a, a long enough one probably good you're close the last 15 here now come on control Ugh. you want to make sure your back's not arching I'd rather have your bum higher in the air than arching three two Ugh. gross okay excellent take a little break come back for round three Let's begin with the legs. I'm gonna grab a weight. We're gonna do a weighted plie. So let's point those toes out, shoulders back, track your knees out over your toes, hang a heavy weight between your legs. Ready, and get as low as you can and squeeze your glutes at the top. Now, feel free to hold two weights up here. If you have only lighter weights and you wanna really weight this, okay? Do whatever you like there. You know what's funny about this exercise is so sometimes when you're at the gym, what you could do if you have like huge range of motion is put, step up on two benches, right? And, uh, and then use a kettlebell or whatever to go between them. And, it, and the weight goes actually lower than the benches and gives you a nice like 90 degree plie. <laughs> I've seen girls up there who like get this far but, they, but they're standing up on benches. I'm like, sweetie, uh-oh, honey. You don't need to stand on a bench unless that dumbbell is gonna hit the floor or go lower than benches. They don't know. They saw it on a movie, on a YouTube video, in a magazine. They wanna try, but the only reason you would do it is because your kettlebell or dumbbell is gonna hit the floor and you need to elevate yourself. Okay, who cares? What's next? Upright row, bicep curl. Sit on the edge of your bench. Leaning forward for upright row. Turn, curl. All right, like that. Let's go. Hey, I kind of put myself in the same boat there. I've tried things at the gym that I've seen in magazines or someone else do. I'm like, that looks like a good idea. Let's give that a shot. <laughs> like once, <laughs> I saw someone doing this Russian twist with a 45 pound plate. I'm like, I could do that. So I grab the 45 pound plate, I sit down on a mat, start to do this Russian twist. And the first three, I'm like, I probably tweaked my back, but people are watching me now. In my mind, people are watching, they probably don't even, weren't even looking, but I'm like, I gotta keep going. Oh, uh, it was so hard. I'm like, yeah, I think one round of that's probably plenty. But anyway, then I did it with the 10 pound plate. I'm like, that's better. Actually, 25 pound plate is nice as well. It's a hard exercise when you add some weight to it. Okay, what's your cardio, do you think? I'll tell ya. You're gonna do a forward broad jump, jack back. So, low position, jump forward, out, in, out. Okay, ready, and start. Broad jump, in, out, in. Depends on where you start, doesn't matter. Just do some jacks back is the basic point of that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I 
hamstrings. <clears throat> hamstrings from that plyometric workout the other day. I tell ya, that was work. But you're gonna get this workout after the Halloween boot camp, aren't ya? So you would have done that yesterday if you did it with me. If not, make sure you go check it out. That is a fun one. Four seconds. Okay, good enough. Down to our ab. So grab a light weight. You're gonna do opposite hand opposite foot, but wait, everything is down, everything's gonna come up, touch that side. Here we go. I'm gonna do that same side for 30 seconds. My free hand is out beside me, and I use my elbow to help me elevate my shoulders off the ground. Eliminate the weight if it's too hard. One more on this side. All right, switch hands. And up. inner thigh a little bit and glutes at the top right upright roll bicep combo next I used my eights for that I'm like oh it's gonna be too light it wasn't it was okay for the shoulders but the biceps really felt it not sure why but I'm gonna stick with the eights next round Twenty seconds and squeeze. Knees go out, up. Last five, three, two, and time. Nice. Okay. Get to that seated bicep upright row. Okay, corner of something, sit really tall, ready. Here we go. Lift, turn, curl. Are you a shift worker? That's a, that's a really hard profession to regulate your, your sleep rhythms, isn't it? If you are, I feel for you, that's, that is tough because you know, the, the importance of sleep and what we talk about in the, in the sleep video here is that it's just, it's critical to so many things, to your longevity, to your risk of uh, increasing in disease decay, I like it's pivotal to our health and when we can't regulate that we could end up having some issues health wise that are hard to um, get over and even weight gain right all right let's hit those jumps again Whew. you guys are doing good this part's hard this little cardio but we're doing it already big jump forward jack it back here we go and light in out in out
Good job, you're halfway. 30 seconds left here, come on. Get low. Throat is so dry. We do one more. Come on, ready? Uh -oh. Okay, grab your dumbbell on the ground. Last ab here. Uh. Let's hit that ab again right here. I like this one. That's good. Kind of like a princess sit up but with the weight on the one side. Kind of feel it on the oblique of that working side. I do anyway. Especially right there as I lift. All right, switch arms. I'm a little cheating on this one because the hand is nicely under the couch. I didn't put it there on purpose, it just happened to, to be there. So I'm a little, little bit using it to help myself up here. Oh, uh, no harm, no foul. All right, that's it there. I think, yep. Good, one more round. Let's get back to that weighted plie. <sighs> now I'm wrecking my hair. Oh well, ready? In three, two, take it wide. Let's do it. Boom. Do you guys shower, like uh, wash your hair after each workout like this? Now that my hair is a bit longer, um, I feel like I can just do a little dry shampoo and then it, it's fine. But when it was short, it, like, it was a total disaster zone after a workout like this. It was so sweaty and I would normally straighten it and then it would go all curly. So I actually have naturally curly hair there. So it was just a mess. So I felt like I had to wash it way more or more and then it was like not as healthy, right? How often do you wash your hair? I know a lot of my friends go like every three, four days. I think that's the, the best thing, isn't it? The rule of thumb. But it's hard when your hair short and you work out and it sweats like that. All right, seven seconds. Upright row coming up. Good. Okay, get your weights for that upright row of bicep combo. Whew. Again, it's like 3.30 and I'm working out late. Ready and start. So what I have to say is that I'm super like grateful that I'm committed to doing this one a day workout here with you guys this week because being so late, I had more clients this morning, I did not again feel like rallying to do this and knowing that I wanted to put this out for you guys uh, and that I had already committed to it makes me motivated. So I was talking to a client yesterday about this and she hates working out, it's not her favorite at all. And, but she comes and she's come for the last six years with her two friends and, and it's because of that. It's because they show up, she shows up. That's the only reason. So again, I implore you like to find people in your community, in your world, that like to exercise, go for walks, go for hikes. Make those your friends. Find friends like that. Because time, they'll want to do active things and not just go out and drink and party, you know? Where are we at? Anyone? Oh yeah, front, front jump, jacket back. Okay, get ready. In three, two, here we go. Try to land lighter than I'm landing. Way. 
Try to stay low on that jacking back. That's hard, isn't it? Last five, four, three, two, time. Last out here, then we're moving on. Grab that dumbbell. Everything down in three, two, and up. Reach and touch. Ready? Here we go. Up and down. Good. How do you hold us on there that's comfortable? Maybe like that. Maybe like that. No, like that's good. Hey, where there's a will, there's a way. Normally I'd use a heavy bar at the gym, but when you're at home and you only have dumbbells, you just make it work. And if you want to make this heavier in round two and three and you have a mini band handy, slip that band above the knees, okay? Mine's not handy, it's in the car. But I would do it if I had it. Actually, you know what? I'm feeling this. It's been 28 seconds. I'm feeling it. Holy. Woo! Good burn. Okay, what's next? Oh yeah, we're gonna grab our lighter weights and do a shoulder combo coming up. A little bent arm lateral behind the head to a palms down front press. I like it a lot. All right, that's it. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my fives for this, just because of the high rep range. Knees are soft, whew, dizzy. Bent arms, come behind the head, come down, palms in front. Behind, down, palms in front, and up, and front, good. Oh, it's burning already. Glad I grabbed only fives. Up and front. Elbows come down by your side each time here. Press down, up and press and. You see what I'm doing? Press up and. Oh, burns, eh? Cardio next, a little crisscross jack. Woo, good. Okay, so make sure there's no weights in your way. Okay, you're staying low right here, and you're just gonna crisscross the jack, all right? Ready, let's go. Get low, crisscross, and jack. That's it. So I'm in a squat position, holding that contraction in my glutes. That's what's gonna make this hard. Yeah, that's only 15 seconds already. I don't know if I'm gonna make it for the full minute, 
but I'm gonna try. And so are you. That's 30 seconds. Ah. Here we go. Oh, pukey. On your back, we're gonna do a very basic ab bicycle for our ab move. Three, two, time. Ugh. But stay down here after for that glute again, okay? Okay, bicycle's coming up. Elbow to a knee. Nice and slow and low. Here we go. Opposite. Good. Reach that leg out. That's it. Cross jack, right? Yeah, right. Um, I remember talking to one of our um, longtime followers, and she said that her family doesn't and never has supported her fitness endeavors or her eating style. They've always been very against it. That is not easy. 
you know, but at the end of the day, you know, I think if your choices are yours, they don't hurt anyone else, they're, they're benefiting you, then you've got to stick with that um, and, and put yourself on the list and make yourself the priority. Like, you're the only one responsible for your health. No one else is, right? Keep going. I just can't breathe. Okay. So, yeah. But I say that, and I know not every circumstance allows for time and for it to be that easy, right? Whoo, bicycles. Glute hip flexor on that guy. Ready. And here we go. I did talk to someone on Facebook once about that. She said, I think I've shared this with you, but you know why? What do I do when my husband doesn't support me going out to work out every night? Like he comes home from work, I want to have my time and leave the kids. And I just said, you know, sometimes it's got to be a little give and take. And it might mean that the sacrifice is he gives up two nights where you can go out, but two mornings you decide that you're going to um, forego sleeping in and doing it early in the morning so that you guys can also have together time, right? In the evenings. Uh, it's hard to talk and do. I'm just going to do 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. Stay down there. I'm just going to toggle my computer here. Hey, uh, glute thrust, remember? Last four minutes of work. You got this. This has been a good workout. I can see why you guys like this power hour. Here we go. Up and squeeze. My knee's a bit crunchy on this one every time I throw stuff. It doesn't hurt, it just sounds like, you know, grossly crunchy. Did you get some crunchy knee? Cracky. I have one client who cracks so much and it kind of makes me nauseous. <laughs> I feel bad saying that, but I'm like, maybe could you not crack so much? <laughs> just kidding, she can't help it. She can crack if she wants to. She can leave her friends behind. Because if her friends don't crack, and you think crack. Okay, never mind. I thought it was funny. Clearly, clearly I'm getting delirious from the intensity of the exercise is what this is happening. Okay, what do we got? Bent arm, you got this. Now that song's in my head. You can dance if you want to. Ready, here we go. Up, turn, press, and. I keep saying to her, do your knees hurt? She's like, no. All right, let's keep going then. You really wanna make sure your elbows stay up and high, okay? You see how I'm doing that? Up and high, so that you get that lateral raise on the medial delt. And then press out and hold that contraction right here. Hold, yes. Good, over half. Sweaty, ready, yellow, crisscross. Here we go. Okay. 
Try to stay in that squat position. Okay, makes it a little bit more difficult than just a crisscross. <clears throat> I'm not staying very low. Halfway I can go lower, but like this is where you should be, right? I can't. I'm spent. Fifteen seconds. Yes. Oh. In five, four, three, two, one. Bicycles. Yeah. Okay. Last thing, guys. Let me stretch. Ready? Start. seconds left of work, then you're done for the day. Can you keep your legs low to the ground here? Come on. Oh, goodness me. That's work, isn't it? Did I tell you my son's taking the personal train certification? How cute is he? He's 22. He wants to follow his mama. Three, two, one. In time. Ah, you, my friends, have moved daily. Join me for a stretch. All right, let's move quickly. My battery's flashing again. <laughs> Align your side, grab your shoelaces, stretch that quad. Anyway, yeah, like I have a business in town here called Move Daily Fitness, obviously. And I have my, my clients that I've had for years and my regular uh, schedule's full. So at times, like when I get new clients, I just contract other trainers out. Um, and, and so like, just to kind of keep it in, in my fold. But um, yeah, my son's very interested in uh, working out. He has for years and years already. Well, he's only 22, but since he was 17, so that's five years of working out, so that's great. He's sculpted his body and changed his, his look. So uh, yeah, he wants to help other people do that as well. Anyway, I thought, you know, I've got so many clients in town here that I can't take because my schedule's full, so why couldn't he run that ship for me? That's kind of what I thought. And then my mom's like, you, he needs to earn his keep first. Like, you can't just hand it to him, Tracy. All right, mama, I won't. Right here. But it's nice that he has someone in the family that he could, you know, follow around and do a little, not internship, but kind of learn the ropes as I've been doing this for about 11 years already, so you do learn a few things along the way, right? Ugh, that was good. See, you're here, you're done, you're glad. You didn't want to do it initially, maybe you did. Some of you are like, yahoo, power hour, I love it. Stretch your legs out in front. But now we're done, and that's the beautiful part, because I'm your partner here, right? Like you can meet me here every day. I'm your accountability. Think of it like that. Tracy's waiting for me. I can't skip. I can't go shopping because Tracy will be there and she'll be sad if I don't show up. So just remember that. All right, let's hands behind the back. Stretch the chest out. Good. Do any of you um, get a few friends and do these videos together? Let me know in the comments below if that's true. My sister Diana and her friends, Melanie, and I think Mindy's there sometimes. Anyway, they do these together. Although she said we usually mute you out during the stretch because we want to talk and do our thing then. So she's probably not even listening to this part, but bring your arm across. But um, they do it together. One of the gals picks the workout for the day. They bring their little iPad, set it up. They do their thing. And so they're all together. And that's really a great component of, of accountability when you're working out is having someone to do it with. And again, if you don't have anyone, you have me. So you make sure that you show up every Monday and Wednesday, and this week it's every day, so you are lucky. 
Oh, good job, everyone. Arms back, thumbs down, stretch those biceps. I'm happy to be done. I'm going to go have a little post-workout shake. I encourage you to have something healthy with complex carbs, healthy fat, and protein to make sure that you replenish the cells. You need to do that at least 30 minutes in that 30-minute window post-workout. Okay, that's the optimal time when your cells are open, needing protein to build those muscles. All right, as always, move daily in your fitness, this week in your wellness, whatever you're doing, make sure you do something that increases that wellness and your nutrition. I'm gonna see you in tomorrow's video.